Prioritizing safety, and that's the goal of two big projects in the metro, whether you're riding on public transit or driving through St. Louis City. News 4 has team coverage tonight of these latest improvements that are on their way. First 10, our Dion Broxton joins us live in East St. Louis after hearing how Metro Transit is now working to keep riders safe. Dion. Sam, this is the Emerson Park station here in uh, East St. Louis. We will see uh, this is one of the first stations that will see the upgrades first. We will see more secure, taller fencing right here, and we will also see a customer gate. So if you have a Metrolink pass or if you have a pass on your phone, you can use that to get inside the gate to get on this platform right here. Well, I know it can be crazy down here sometimes. Due to recent crime, at times, Metro Transit is in the news for the wrong reasons. The agency hopes new technology will help end negative headlines. State-of-the-art gating and fencing will be added to 39 platforms across the St. Louis Metro. It's not just about gating and fencing, but it's about the integration of new closed-circuit television systems. Metro Transit is pumping $52 million into this project, hoping to stop incidents like this. They're actively pushing each other on the platform. It is a combination and a layered approach to security that in totality, and marrying all of those efforts together, hopefully in the end will be the game changer. Security head Kevin Scott says it's hard to deter all crime, but staying up to date with the latest tech can likely help deter some incidents. Security or effective security is very fluid. There's no finish line to it. I think it'll make things more safe or make, make people feel safer within their travels. Metro rider Jason Fulcher hopes this will lead to more people enjoying Metrolink like he does. It's super convenient. Like I go to Cardinals games sometimes and I live in Granite City, Illinois, so I have to catch I catch a bus down here. The Emerson Park platform is one of four Illinois stops getting upgrades in the first phase of the project. All 39 platforms are expected to be completed by early 2025. There's an open house going on right now in downtown Belleville about this project. If you can't make it tonight, there's a virtual meeting tomorrow. You can find all this information on the Camovie news app and website. Live in East St. Louis, Dion Broxton, News 4.